Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of the collectibles and save all characters in House of Ashes. This video intends to help with the achievements or trophies Golden Path. The description for that is five characters survive the finale. Scratch in Paths, for which you have to find all of the secrets. Casualties of War, find all of the black framed pictures. Portents found all of the white frame pictures. The statement of Randolph Hodgson found every part of Randolph's journal. And you can also use this guide to get two more achievements, which are six minutes of night, everyone died in the finale, and final girl, only one character survived the finale. You can just use the save file to get those last two. If you follow this guide and save everybody, you can just load up and get those last two really easily. There's also a couple of side achievements I get throughout the game, but I'm not going to focus on those too much. The main goal of this guide is to get through while saving everyone and getting all of those collectibles. If you're looking for other guides for the Dark Pictures Anthology games, I've got guides for Man of Medan and Little Hope up on my channel. I'll link those around in the description for you. I've also got guides for Until Dawn if that's something that you're interested in. I just want to say thank you all for being patient with this one. It's taken me a little while to get it out. And also just thanks for tuning into the video. It really does mean a lot. If you want to show some support to me, just drop a like on the video. That really helps out. Helps other people see the video with the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. Comments are also great. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to go a step further, you can always follow me over on my live stream channel at twitch.tv slash iframes, where I play stuff blind and also put these guys together from time to time. And you can come and interact with the community over there. I feel like I've rambled on in this intro for long enough. Thank you all again for tuning in. Let's get this going. Every choice has a consequence. I mean, they say that in these games, but... Some decisions save lives. Others lead to death. Yeah, in Little Hope of Man and Medan, there wasn't really a huge amount of choices that made a difference. One thing I will say about these games, and especially this one, is there's choices throughout the game that can change little things. Doesn't necessarily mean anyone will die. There's little outcomes that tons of achievements are tied to. It can make it sort of difficult to get certain ones. I'll try to talk about a lot of them. That I know about at least. Um, but. I'll just be trying to keep everyone alive and get collectibles. That's the main objective of this run. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Oh dear. The sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Uh. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. No luck for these dogs. So for the most part, throughout this run, I'm gonna be picking. We should leave this place. Hold up. <laughs> His madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Yeah, we have our orders. Yeah, so for the most part, I'm gonna be picking the head options with this run. There will be a few instances where I'll pick the heart options. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? Where? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. 
starting with this one. Oh dear. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? Nah. Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Okay, so again, I'm going to choose the head options wherever I can. There is an achievement tied to getting all the head options. There isn't one to picking all the heart options, but for the most part, I'll be picking these. I'll explain why soon. <clears throat> I'll also try to put a key at the top of the screen, so if you're playing on PlayStation or PC, you'll know what buttons you've got to press with the quick time events. Although I'll probably explain this in the intro. Um, there is a setting you can use that turns all of the quick time events into literally one button, so you only have to think about one button the whole time. That is up to you, though. Also, this game has a difficulty level. And if you put it on the easiest difficulty level, I'm guessing it just makes all the quick time events really easy. But I'm, for the most, you know, I'm trying to play on normal. I'm guessing a lot of you will be playing on normal. There's no achievements tied to playing on the hard mode, which is kind of sucky. I kind of wish there was. But, um, yeah, it's kind of strange that they have an achievement for getting all of the head options or choosing all the head options or the, you know, you see the picture of the brain and the heart. And there's not one tied to choosing all of the hard decisions, but it is what it is. There's a few instances where picking the head option will get someone killed, and I'll explain those as we go along. But, um, you can keep the five characters that you need to save to get the Save Everyone achievement uh, alive up until almost the very end of the game by just choosing the head options. Although, there's a couple of characters that are with you throughout the game that you can't save, but you can keep alive for longer. I'll explain what goes down with them as we go along. Oh dear. Get stabbed. I'll also do my best to explain where you can kill people that I know of at least. There's probably some that I don't know of, but there's a lot of areas where you can get people killed if you're looking to do that. Or you want to see the deaths. You can always kill people and reload chapters and stuff like that if you want to. I've already done a ton of experimenting with this game just to see what happens in different areas, but again, the main objective of this run is to get the collectibles and save everyone in one run. So feel free to just copy me to the T. If I mess anything up, I'll reload a chapter and edit it out so you don't see it and make sure I get the right choices throughout this run. So everyone gets saved and we get all those collectibles. I'm actually kind of a little bit annoyed because I already did this run once and when I came back to look at my recording, none of the audio had recorded, which was very annoying. But hopefully this isn't your playthrough, uh, your first playthrough because I'm going to be probably talking a lot throughout the run. I'll try to be quiet during dialogue because it's kind of annoying talking over people and stuff. But uh, yeah, there will be lots of spoilers. You have been warned. I'll try to mention that in the intro as well, just so you know. I mean, if you're looking for more of a blind playthrough, I have posted my blind playthrough of the game. I should also be posting a video that just shows the collectibles and a video that explains how to save everyone if you're just looking for like a shortened version of this. But if you want to be super safe, I guess this is the place to be. You're going to have to play through it anyway if you want that achievement. But there's so many little achievements that are tied to doing certain things throughout the game. I haven't got them all yet, but... I do know how to do a ton of them. The problem is, you've got to kill and save certain people to get in give me strength. the right situations to get those achievements, and it just requires a lot of playthroughs to get them all, to be honest. 
Again, I'll try to explain as much as I can throughout this run. Just to give you all that information I have, I'll at least explain what I can. And if there's stuff that I don't know, I'll point that out too. And if any of you do know, feel free to post it in the comment section to help us out, you know, that always helps. One thing this game doesn't have is uh, achievements and trophies that are tied to building relationships with other characters, which the other games did have. Little Hope was kind of annoying for that. to call for forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. No oh deal. My king, free of his madness now, as are we all. Free? Free to die. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. I think I should trust you? Maybe. I have no choice. I found you. you can build relationships with characters and different things will happen depending on your relationships with certain characters and there are some achievements that are tied to having certain relationships with certain characters there's no like achievements like there were in little hope where you have to just max out relationships with people like get them all the way to the top or whatever that's just not a thing in this game and little hope was kind of annoying for that So I'm pretty sure there was like one or two of those achievements you had to play the curator's cut for. Follow me. And I think. Do? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Go. Oh dear. I really don't like these heartbeat things. If you're playing on normal, it will never change to Y or, you know, you won't have to change buttons when you're doing this. It'll always stick to one button. It'll only do that if you're on the lethal difficulty. So if you're playing on easy or normal, I think they're called forgiving and challenging. It won't change. It'll always stay as the one button. It doesn't matter if you fail this one, but it's good practice. If you want to make it quicker, you can just mess up if you want. Again, I'll let you know which ones are important and which ones aren't. Just a rat. Just a rat. How many men died for our king? Their sacrifice bought him nothing. Alright, so... I'm gonna pick this up. Oh dear. I'm playing this on PC, and for some reason if you play in DirectX 12 mode, you get these weird graphical glitches you should be able to see on the floor there. Don't know why it does that. So the only collectible we can get in this area is just ahead of us. Um, right here. This is the only collectible in the prologue. It's one of the premonitions. 
13 of those to get, I think, or something like that. And you'll get achievements when you get all of the white ones and then for all of the black ones as well. There is another one, which sort of is kind of like a teaser for the next game. There's nothing else to interact with in this room, so let's just move on. Here, help me with this. First. You first. So yeah. What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern an Akkadian. Oh, moody. How do you get out of here alive? Monkey skulls on his necklace. Um. So you can pick either one here. I'm gonna go with respectful. Why not? The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. There is <clears throat> always hope. Right. Okay. Let's get going. What was that? Those are predator clicks. I would not be walking towards that, but I'm not you, am I? Over here. Oh dear. One thing I should mention is that my X button on this controller is kind of broken, so anytime I've got a mash X, it's much more difficult for me. Um, but I'll be fine. Coming! No! A guardian! There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword! Alright, so we can fight or betray. I'm gonna go with fight. You get a couple more quick time events, I think, if you pick fight over betray. Either way, the outcome's the same. Oh dear. Stabby, stabby. So he just kind of dips on this guy here. See those graphic glitches? I, it's kind of annoying. But whatever. This game is probably my favorite out of the three games that I've released so far. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. Until Dawn is still the best of the Supermassive games, but... I really love what they're doing with this series. I think what they're doing with this series is really good. I'm gonna skip this for DMCA reasons. On the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation, or be lost in the darkness? We Let got this. Speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. Cheers. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. 
As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tech. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand not death. that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. <clears throat> so, um, I wonder if you haven't played the other games, if he says something different there. I'd be interested to know. He probably says something different if you're playing in co-op, right? Because he talks about doing it on your own kind of thing. So again, I'm going to stick with the head choices here for the most part. I will talk about areas where I'll pick something different for certain reasons, but Girl, it's up to you. Good trip. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Let's go with impatient heal. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, good to go. Good to go. You should read this. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? I'm gonna go with a noise. Careful, Clarice. That's valuable research. Yes, sir. -y. Oh dear. Dr. Stokes, at your service. First Lieutenant Jason Kolchak. Wow. The briefing room? Right. So there's a section coming up with uh, Nick he and owes Rachel. This much of a dick. Huh. So many dick levels. This is like a two. Wait till he turns it up to 11. And uh, there's an achievement tied to making Nick. Or, no, making Eric ignore Nick's radio signal towards the end of the game. And we have to build the relationship the with Rachel and Nick for that. So, if you want to get all the head choices, that's fine. Um, keep picking them. But if you want to get that achievement, which is actually kind of a difficult one to get, you might need to pick time to gather, Rachel. the, the heart that's choices heal. Checkpoint. I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. And you can still keep everyone alive and get all the collectibles if you pick the head choices up until pretty much the very end. I'll explain as we go. Rachel King. Um. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. So again, if you're looking to get that heads only achievement, pick the reluctant option here. I'm going to go with reassuring because there's another achievement I'm trying to work with. Uh, you can still keep everyone alive if you pick either. So I'm going to go with reassuring here. I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. 
Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. Basically, we want to make the relationship between Eric and Rachel shitty. I'll see you at the briefing. And the relationship between Nick and Rachel Shit. strong. I'll do my best to explain everything as I go. Um, like I said, there's certain achievements you'll only get if you pick the hard choices, but it, it just means you've got to do multiple playthroughs. I've already got the one for all the head choices. It just depends what you want to go for, I guess. If you just want to follow me to the T and you don't really care about some That's of the others. Huge noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Well, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'll be able to CIA, get... <laughs> got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Hold up. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get the achievement for um, basically making uh, Eric ignore Nick's radio call. But I'll try for it, because it's one of the ones I haven't got. As long as I keep everyone alive and get the collectibles, I'm happy. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Miss here would like to watch me get my sweater. You wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. I guess they do. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. Get ignored. So what's his malfunction? He's banging your wife, mate. Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Okay. Moving on, then. Damn, Joey. They got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Let's go with polite heel. I'll try to uh, pick those head choices where I can again. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. Oh, he's not happy. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Restrained? Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, got shot. Shit. <laughs> oh, dear. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Right. <laughs> okay. So, there's yeah. one collectible in here, and it's it. right I'll here. Leave the techie stuff to you. Now Move this out of the way. Deal, and baby. there it is. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam like to get down on the dance floor. 
And if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> Probably. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. So I think you get interrupted here by a cutscene. Step on my foot. Um. I don't think we're going to get a chance to read this. No, we'll come back to it though, because you do get a chance to look around more in a second. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. So, let's go with Apologetic Heal. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from oh, South dear. Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Maybe. Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please. Pioneer way. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What well, the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, you could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. It's just, sir. It's not a high five moment, is it? <laughs> All right, let's go with. Uh, so right here, if you pick compliant, then it actually results to the ending of the game you get. Either way, everyone can survive, but. Uh, if you go with Compliant, which is the head one, put in a request for air support to be on standby. then Salim will get brought with Our you at the end low, if he the survives. The site is in the Zagros um, zone, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. If you pick the hard one, go he gets to walk. Weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, 
Help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. So, let's go with Excited here. Rach, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, uh -oh. Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so we've got a few different things to look at. I'll quickly go over to that collectible and read it. <clears throat> this area is kind of on a timer, I think. So make sure you get this collectible. Um, let's not talk over these guys for a sec. All right, confidential Operation Iraq Survey Group, SCPB mailman. Message ID, CENTCOM, bunch of numbers, 1304... 27th of May 03, subject bandit, bandit activity, Saran District, report this appearance to aid workers, Saran District, workers named Evis Pugam and Mary Vinay failed to make contact two weeks ago, and workers presumed robbed and killed, message end, acknowledge. Alright, there's a few more things to look at in this area, although I don't think any of them are collectibles. we got this paper over here. Um, if you go and talk to Nick and Jason... Then, uh, actually, wait, let's have another look at that. That's not a collectible, but maybe some of you want to read it. Let's have a look. Manny, oh, no, American Overseas, Mission Accomplished. President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. Man Manny Sherman executed killer, uncooperative during final hours. All right, yeah. So I'm just kind of quick to turn that back around. Maybe some of you like to see that stuff. I don't know. Got another document here. Subject, survey group objectives to Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central, Central Intelligence. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. Organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition, government agencies and armed forces, US, UK and Australia. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture and exploit information on individuals, facilities and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction, WMD. Organize and direct war oper operations to survey and exploit exploit WMD sites within Iraq. The survey group reports Director CENTCOM and the Director of Central Intelligence. Operational findings in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom OIF to be published quarterly from 6th of the 1st, 2003. Alright, so if you go and talk to Nick and Jason here and pick the head option, you don't bring the white phosphorus with you. And that gives you an opportunity to kill Rachel later on. We don't want to do that, obviously. 
But I'll show that. Right now, why not? Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. <laughs> White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. So, go with disapproving? These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. So we're trying to... Make the relationships with pretty much Eric and everybody crap. I did get one good choice with Rachel a second ago, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, subject, urgent results needed to act in CEO Rachel King. Confidential, with the survey group becoming operational today, it's imperative to stress the need for mission success. Uh, military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraq UWMD. Until we prove that that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the re regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to your reports. Signature, Simon Fuller, SG Operations Head, Director of Human Intelligence, DIA, Confidential and Personal. Nothing on the back. All right. <laughs> Trying to read all the stuff here quickly. I think we can talk to Joey here as well. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? He's in the vicinity, we'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. All right. Um, we looked at that one, right? Uh, I think we can also talk to Mo in here. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Now let's go with relaxed. The head choice. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Oof. Um... All right, I think that's everything, except for that one board. But Let's that isn't a collectible. Let's get to the helos. So like I mentioned earlier, if you pick to bring in air support, you get what? a different ending. What? Slightly. You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it actually. Guy's a corn cob off his ass. But we're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. Alright. So yeah, if you pick the head choice or to keep air, air support close, Salim doesn't get to walk at the end of the game if you choose not to bring in air support at the end of the game he gets to go free and go home to his son doesn't really make a difference you still get him to survive which is what we're going for our first little sec section of uh, Salim my favourite character of the game I do like this guy Zane and a gate then 
All right. There is a collectible in the house heel, but also a couple of other things you can look at. Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Uthman, 112 Badra Mandali Kut Iraq. March 23rd, 2003, application number J03034042. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read Mythology BA in academic year 2003 to 2004, which commences on September 2nd, 2003. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. A. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard of grades. B. Obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that current world events make create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist you and support your visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey to success. Sincerely, Andrew McAllister, Director of Admissions. Oh, actually, there is something on the back of that. Let's take a little look. I think it's like a note from Salim to Zayn, which is his son. You've achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zayn. Now go back that grade. Love always, Dad. How sweet. All right, so there's a picture on the floor in here as well. We can quickly look at it. Again, this isn't a collectible. Enough. If you just want to look at it. All right. So the only collectible in this area is in this room. You have to go this way. To continue with the story. Okay. So, this book is the collectible. You need to turn the page in order to get the collectible. But we can read both pages, so let's go ahead and have a read. Some people like to hear this stuff. This the heavens were no... No deal. The heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed the sky was formed of a configuration of domes, each hewn from a different precious stone. The outermost dome embodied Anne, the god of the sky. The middle dome was home to the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians, the stars and planets had their own dated god. Uh, their own deities. Utu was the sun, Nana later altered as Suin or Sin was the moon. Nurgle was ascribed to Mars, Nabu to Mercury, Marduk to Jupiter, Inanna to Venus, and Ninurta to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards in this world view. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the first astronomers. They charted the position of the stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps. Right, let's flip the page to get that collectible. There we go. Chapter 6, the ancient Mesopotamian, oh god I can't say that, Mesopotamian underworld. In ancient belief the world was made of earth, sea and sky, and enclosed in a box of imperishable tin. The underworld, known as Kerr, or the House of Ashes, was where people went when they died. Souls were led to a cavern deep underground where they endured a shadowed existence. Here the only drink was dust and the only food was clay. There was no light, only darkness. There were no rewards or punishments for deeds done in life. Instead, a soul's comfort was determined by their burial. As the dead were often buried under or near the home, daily sacrifices of food and drink were made to the spirits of the departed. Family members who poured wine into a dead person's grave would quench their thirst in the house of ashes. The message to the living was to live well, be buried richly, and have many descendants who would supply food and drink in the afterlife for years to come. The dead could return to the earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings of food and drink to them. Vengeful ghosts could inflict misfortune and sickness on the living, and melody such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders could be attributed to ghosts. Mesopotamian healers ascribed many illnesses to the action of ghosts, while others were caused by gods or demons. All right. <clears throat> so don't miss that one. One of the early collectibles. Let's move on here. We need to look under Zane's bed. If you look at this poster, I think it shows um, Winterfold somewhere. Got a couple of uh, things marked out on the map. But that's what I've heard anyway. But yeah. It's a map of the UK, which is pretty cool. 
I think the question, the circled area with the question mark is supposed to be it, but I'm not sure. I did read that somewhere, though. All right. <clears throat> He's not happy. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. I forgot. Who was Zain? My, my. Who was him? Abnik. Sorry. Iwa Thar. Who my Baba? Um. So let's go with restraint. No, no. كله تمام. أصلا كان عيد ميلاده وأنا جبت له هدية. آه لما يرجع ابعته لي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجي انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحت طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي اه كابتن بصري اهلا انا مو لازم لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو؟ يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا. So I'm gonna go with the compliant option here. If you do pick the defiant one later on in the game, Salim won't follow this guy, Da. Um, but I'm picking those head choices. It doesn't get anyone killed, so we're going with it. Hargal <laughs> Bitor. خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit <laughs> and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, what the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Alright, going with that head choice, Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I count on you? I'll ask you one more time. Can I count on you? Yeah, I got you. Alright, let's go with Annoyed. Lay it out, Nick. What the fuck is up with you? It's nothing. Where I'm sitting looks pretty damn far from nothing. It's fine, I'm fine. Tell me this ain't about that. Get that shit out of your head and move on. I have. You have? You're not the one who pulled the trigger. We're Marines, Sergeant. We pull that trigger together. 
Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that, some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 الخنازير بيطيروا هيهبط American, the Asakir, the American go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. All right, let's go with the cautious one here. Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna psyops this shit. Psyops. Not sure what that means, but psyops. إحنا الأمريكان. إحنا الجيش الأمريكاني. is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy. They're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Okay, I'm respectful. We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. I want a full report when we get back as to why it took your team so damn long to secure this farm. Aye, sir. As a consequence, and you hold on Iraqis are probably on high alert. I'm disappointed, Lieutenant. Let me assure you, Colonel, my team is ready for anything. Is that a fact, Lieutenant? Didn't take us that long. That Come on now, Eric. Good. You think? You got the place locked down tighter than the birds. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? 
Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Oh, spicy. Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مغزن السلاح Let's go with impatient here Any orders ma'am Stand by I've got this هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المغزن The hell is that? All right, so some kind of effigy, possibly you, pagan. You get a choice here, or as Jason. Either. And you want to pick curious? That leads to getting this collectible. If you pick the other one, you won't get the collectible. What the fuck? Into can here. Flip this over. There's your collectible. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Okay. So, there's nothing else in this room, but there is another collectible in this building. So leave this room and head left and you'll get into another room Ooh, with Rachel. Silo is. man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. دي بندقية كبيرة قوي يا أخ. أكثر من أنت محتاجه للغنم. فين مدخل المغزن؟ You don't have to hit this guy. It's up to you. Do that again. And I'll tear you up into pieces and feed you to the fucking jackals. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. All right, so turn it around here and one of the premonitions is right here we want to get that all right that second one uh, I don't think there's anything else in this room there's no collectibles so let's head out and we want to go right the camera angles are kind of really tight in this building it's a bit annoying but it's okay let's get outside We can talk to Nick here. There ain't shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Okay, so we want to get in the building here. And don't miss this left turn. Because there's a collectible in here and it's the gas masks. Eric That's does follow you here. in. And if you don't turn into this room straight away, Eric might block the way back. So you want to make sure you get in this room quickly and don't walk past it. Uh, apart from that, I think we're good. Yeah, I think that's all the collectibles we have to get here. Let's move on.
That chair one. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. I think you might want better cover than that, Clarice, just saying. Down, get down! They're up on the ridge! Return fire! Go! Shoot! You need to sweep to the left really quick to get that. QTE, it doesn't matter if you miss it or. to leave him at home, right? What is your orders, Marine? That ain't an option we got anymore. Oh, bullshit! Fuck <laughs> again. I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Nailed it. Pick up, though. I'm fucking dying, Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. <laughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. I. He's done for me. Say it, Prima. Sad face. So, doesn't matter what you do there, Joey will fight. Spread out and fight back! He's not one of the characters we gotta save anyway. God damn it. All call signs, this is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. Is this getting worse? Yes. Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. So, you don't have to shoot this guy. You can just let him go. Anyone speak English anymore? Nah, sorry, mate. You better not miss. No more killing. Rachel! 
Rachel! Oh shit! Poor Salim. Okay, so we have to regroup with Jason here. We can turn on our flashlight now, which is nice. All right, so there's nothing behind us in this area. We kind of just need to go this way. Let's get moving. There are a couple Jason. of collectibles ahead of us, but let's just get down here for now. Jason, I'm close, man. I'm coming. We're close. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ooh. Things are getting a bit spooky there, mate. Let's get going. Getting his first sighting of the demons. Let's move on. Fuck is this place? something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant K, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. All right, let's go with reassuring. All good. Just wasn't expecting to suddenly fall into the fucking earth. I hear you. You ever seen anything like this? All right, so when you gain control, come back. I found history at school. This way to get the collectible. Look at the skull. It's underneath the big hand in this room. Shit. The fuck happened to your teeth, buddy? You had a really bad day. Okay. So let's head back this way, and there's another collectible in this room. You have to go up this little set of stairs to get to it. I think that's the way we came from, you right? You don't feel it. What, Nick? Feel what exactly? I don't know, some. Some. I don't feel shit. You sure about that? All right, that's another one of the premonitions. Squeeze. And back down we go. Kind of takes forever to go up and down stairs in this game, but whatever. All right, and then let's head to this door. Oh. 
This thing is heavier than it looks. Give me your head. I'm gonna need some more muscle. You skipping Jim again? <clears throat> That's Merle. Jesus, I'm mm. trying. Will you stop squirming around? Uh, it's bad. It's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Oh, I fucked. He's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. So get up. There's no feet in my back. Grab me. We're gonna pump you up, okay? Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep lookout. Fuck! Look out for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? Bye, Clarice. What the fuck just happened? She got yoinked, mate. Alright. So there's an achievement tied to keeping Morwen alive for a while. He's bleeding out. We gotta take care of this. He's not one of the five characters you have to keep alive. But there is an achievement tied to doing certain things with him. Oh, I barely made that. You want the good version or the bad version? Just give it to me straight. Not gonna lie, man. It's pretty fucking bad. Who's out there? He's running down on us. So, to keep Moen alive here, you want to succeed the first quick time, uh, first two quick time events here, and then fail the last one. Jason's gonna give him the shot. And then make sure you fail this last quick time event, otherwise you'll suffocate him. So fail this heal. And you'll give him some air. So that he don't suffocate. More freeze kicked in. So let's bring him with us. So, Marwyn does always die. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. Same as, uh, again, spoiler alert, I know I did mention it earlier, but hopefully no one complains. But also, Clarice is the same. You can keep her alive for longer, but um, she will always die. The ones you have to save are Salim, Nick, Jason, uh, Eric, and Rachel. But there's achievements linked to those characters. And one of them I don't have with Merwin. So why not get it? Unfortunately, we need to pick a heart decision. Oh dear. Like I said before, it's up to you what you do in that situation. If you want to keep going with the head decisions, you can still save everyone you need to. <laughs> so 
Salim's not happy. So, over to our left here, we've got a collectible. It's one of the premonitions. Let's get that. Sweet. Daylight. And this isn't a collectible, but we can look at it anyway. Nothing else here for us to look at. Let's just go ahead and go down. Again with the slow steps. Nailing that quick time event. So, let's get moving. We have to resort to the lighter now. Did I say result? I meant resort. <laughs> okay. Down we go. I think I might have broken the animation here with the lighter. Because I pressed it just as he was entering the cutscene, and now he won't pull it out. Okay. Hello. It's fine, though. Let's just keep going. Oh, I hate mashing X with this controller, man. It's so broken. I have to, like, hit it twice as hard. Let's grab the pistol. I'm going to shut this door. Doesn't matter that you pick the hard decision here. Because both of the decisions are heart decisions. Okay. Hey, 
place is about to come down. All right, let's go with impatient. Where the hell are the Marines? I don't know. It happened so fast. The ground just swallowed me up. Did you see Sergeant K? Kolchak? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. That could be another way out. I don't know. All right, let's go with clinical. It's our only option. Let's move. Now. When did you become so bossy? It's my job to take control. <clears throat> Rachel Those didn't like that. Draws rope light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Messing up their relationship. I don't actually know if I'll get the achievement. A steep drop to nowhere. But it's worth a try. You got rope. I'm pretty sure I won't get it in this playthrough. Because it results in... Look, there's an airflow. I say we climb. Someone dying? If I actually ignore the signal when... So when did you start smoking? Nick Excuse radios? The lighter. It's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. But... I just want to see if I get that option. I won't ignore it if I get it, but... Are you ready? Are you? It just means I can load up the previous chapter and... get it quite easily. Because it doesn't actually happen until, like, the end of the run. <clears throat> and from what I've heard, you've got to do, like, a bunch of stuff throughout the playthrough to actually get that option. To ignore him or not. This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. Let's go with Confused. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. Oh, shit. So I am sticking with the head options here and there. But I know if I pick the majority of them, that Rachel ends up. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Not being very happy with Eric. Oh, let me, I'll explain a little bit more. Basically, there's a point in the you game. Times, Rich? Hold up. You mean the sense of feeling lost? The rock collector was in this area. Let's go this way. Yeah, there's a point in the game when Rachel has to pick between Eric and Nick. And you basically want to make sure that she picks Nick. So that means we've got to pick the good decisions between Rachel and Nick. And make it somewhat bad between Eric and Rachel. And that will result in later... Nick being able to choose whether he saves... Sorry, Eric being able to choose whether he saves Nick or not. And I will choose to save him in this run, because obviously we're trying to keep everyone alive, but I just want to get to the point where I get that option, or see if I can. But rest assured, we will save everyone, don't worry about it. I've already done this once, but I just didn't... I just chose all the head options. The problem is, at the very end of the game, you've got to pick an option to keep Rachel alive... That's a heart option. Um, but if you pick head options all the way up to that point, it's literally at the very end of the game, like when Rachel is infected and stuff. And at that point, you can just reload the chapter and play the last part of the it's game. Old? old? It's ancient. But that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? And that's kind of why I'm explaining myself a lot the about it. On history. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. Because there's so many different ways to play this game. I don't think there's a collectible over here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there is in the next area, but not. Um, back in there, we got the one that was back there. There's a couple down in this next area, I think. It's just annoying that I've got to redo all of this, but I guess it just. Helps me try and get this one extra achievement. Apparently, this is one of the most annoying achievements to get in the game. So I just thought I'd see if I could suss it out. And, you know, if you guys want to get it too, you can follow along with me. It depends on what you want to get. It's one of those you're going to have to do. Different choices. But um, our playthrough should be more or less the same. Depending on what you do. 
I'll explain where things differ and stuff. The one difference that's probably going to happen if you do pick the head choices seems stable. is that Marwyn that will fun. die earlier. Because I'm going to try and keep him alive until we get to the radio. I'm pretty sure he dies there if you keep him alive up until that point. But there's an achievement tied to getting him to fix the radio, which I want to get. And there'll be some choices tied to that coming up soon. Again, I'll do my best to explain. Although, I'll keep mentioning this if you just want to keep everyone alive and you copy me, you'll be just fine. So, this isn't a collectible, but we can look at it. Okay. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. But uh, we've got a collectible just here. Which is Pazuzu. It's Pazuzu. Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Yeah. Something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. All right. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. Whoa. Great, that's all we need. So I don't think there's anything else in this room. I can hear those can buggers though. Looks jammed pretty tight. It won't let me interact with it. Alright, so... We've got to go and interact with a hole in the middle of the room, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah. Just giving this a once over, I make sure I don't miss anything. I, I, there's nothing else in this room, but I like to be doubly sure, you know. So let's back out. I will double check once that? I'm done that I've got all the collectibles. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. And, um. I thought I heard something down there. On the off chance that one. In ruins, this place is still something special. Does get by me. Here? I'll edit it in for you guys. It's gunfire. Where's it coming from? It's kind of what you have to do when you're doing these collectible videos, you know? You don't want to miss stuff. Piss people off. Can you make anything out? That's... it's deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. Going down. All right, there is a bunch of collectibles in this room. I think there's like seven or eight or something like that. But uh, basically don't fix the generator until you've got all the collectibles. That's the easiest way to do this. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. All right, I'm going with the sympathetic right here. If you want to, I guess, worsen the relationship, you could go with frustrated, but I'm just going to go with sympathetic here. Sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I'll learn from this. I'll go back and work twice as hard to rewrite the program. Kalos will be stronger than ever. You don't think I can do it? You don't believe in me? I'm going with spiteful. Haven't you done enough damage already? What do you want me to do? Just walk away from it? Give up? It wouldn't be the first time. Oof. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. 
Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Alright. So, from where you gain control here, go over to the pit. Do you think right Sidecom is aware of our situation? I'm hoping the pilots got word back. If any of them survive, that is. Alright. <laughs> So, looking at the plunger here, if you look to the left, you'll get the secret. Wherever you are, Nick, I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? No, nothing. Uh, she's just thinking of a side piece, mate. All right, and over here on the left, you can find this stone tablet. I hope we can get this thing started. They've been cataloging these pieces. Somewhere. It's another one. And then let's head. All call head. signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. This way? I think the gas is just here. Don't interact with that. Let's this clean up these King, collectibles first. Signs. Are you receiving? Over. Go on, just to you. The Curse of a Cad by Aline Jono. Scholars regard the Curse of a Cad as a fiction, an instructional story that trained the Sumerians to endure famine, fate, and the whims of the gods. However, the discovery of this great temple hints at a new truth behind it. In the original tale, the god Enlil turns against King Narim's sin of a Cad. At first, the king is pious and penitent, praying for answers. But after seven years, the gods have given none, so Naram Sin decides to bring them to account. He raises an army and marches to the city of Nippur to sack Enlil's temple. The blasphemy is so great that Enlil, the roar storm enlist the gods against Narim Sin, sending the Gutians to raise a cad to the ground, destroy its farms, and curse the people with famine. So I'll flip this over for the collectible. Temple. It was built to appease the gods. Okay. There is no historical record of Naram Sin demolishing the temple to Enlil. However, our finds here suggest the curse was based on actual events. King Narim Sin built this place to honor the gods. Many of our finds depict the king pleading to heaven to invite the gods back into the spiritual life of his people. The fact that this temple was lost suggests the curse could not be broken. Okay. We need so. these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit. The duct tape is here also, but we don't want to grab that just yet. You don't have to interact with the dynamite in order to get a collectible. We just want to come over here and in this tent are two more collectibles. So this is at the Journal of Randolph Hodgson. I think this is the first one of these. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye, a Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site, a gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. <clears throat> if she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. All right. So, there's another collectible. This is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. Over on the left side, right here. It's this photo. What happened to these guys? The Hodgson Expedition, October 1946. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's three more collectibles for us to get in this area. You can get two of them later, but we'll just get them now to get them out of the way. Um, over here, by the side of the tent, I think. It's either on this side or the other side. There's a table. Um, no, it's not on this side. It must be on the other side. Let's go find it. 
Yeah, it's on the opposite side. This big room kind of looks all the same. Yeah, it's over there where Eric's standing. There's a tape recorder over there and you need to fix it later, I think. Um, but we're not going to worry about that for now. We're just going to leave that alone. But on the desk next to it is a collectible we want to grab. So let's go grab that. All right. 14th of October. Can't say I blame them. 14th of October, 1946. Randolph, I trust this finds you well. Our journey to the dig has been delayed. We left some heavy equipment behind in Saran because Pullman could only hire half the men and mules needed. Workers refuse to go into the mountains. They are superstitious and cry that they will be possessed by demons. They even refuse bonus pay of two dinars each. We also we have also left the second generator and the spare radio behind with the agent. We would be with you by the 18th. Yours faithfully, Aline Jernu. So we can't flip this over, but... Yep, there's your collectible. So why is that? There's the one there. Is that like six or something already? And there's two more up these stairs. You do come back to this area as Eric and Rachel later. And uh, you can get these two collectibles then when all the lights are on. But we'll just get them now to get them out of the way. Okay. A little bit of back and forth involved. But it's fine. Let's just get up here. So... Around this corner. And we've got... Collectible right here. Mentions echolocation. Is this... Something to do with bats? Autopsy findings. Blind. It uses echolation to hunt. Unintelligible. Hypersensitivity. Skin highly resistant to physical trauma. Clumsy flyer. Unintelligible. Evolution. Unintelligible saliva. Hibernates. Alright. So... What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through. Just to the left of uh, that one, we've got this premonition tablet thing. I think this is one of the... Uh, Negative ones? Alright. Cool. Maybe yeah, there's climbing any... out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. Uh, the way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. There's an achievement tied to letting Eric figure out the UV light thing. And that's I think that's it, but I'm not actually sure how to get that achievement. I haven't got that one yet. And because of the nature of this playthrough, I kind of don't want to mess anything up that I know. Um, well, that I don't know about, you know. I want to make sure that I get everything right. So, I'm not going to experiment too much. I'm just going with what I know. So now that we've done that, we need to go back over to the tent, get the gas for the generator, sort that out. And then we can move on. What was that? There was like... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's eight collectibles in this area. It's kind of kind of a nice chunk. There's quite a few sections like that in this game where you find several collectibles. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. Yeah, Eric. Hurry it up. Uh, tell me I had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Lake? Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my light back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on you, Rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Come on. Let's get to work. Damn. The shoulder. The demons are coming. Shine a light on the tank. Ah, oh, shit. What's wrong? Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. 
can be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. Alright, so we need to go grab the duct tape, which is over at the back. Next to one of those collectibles we got. Eric's walking right to it anyway. Let's go grab that, get it sorted. There is dynamite strapped to the walls here, but that doesn't count as a collectible. You just kind of get to look at it. I found some duct tape. See if we can jumpstart this generator. Okay. Back to the generator. Kind of wish there was a run button in this game. It would make things so much faster. I know you can press right trigger or something to move a little bit faster, but... It's really not that much. Okay. You got it? I've got it. Why don't you sit back at the base? You were wrong. Doesn't sound like me. You said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? Um... So again, if you want to go for the head choices, I'm going to pause this so I can explain. If you want to go for the head choices, pick the head choice here. I'm going to go with the heart choice just to screw up this relationship even more. Um, yeah, this won't result in anyone dying. It's literally to try and work on that achievement I've been talking about. I meant what I said. Depends on what achievements you want. The minute that truck in my car. Nothing has changed. That's not how it feels from my side. It's definitely how it feels from mine. Hold the fuel pipe. It's done. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. <clears throat> Look at the state of these. They're shot. Can we could do this with a little less attitude? I'm trying to work. I'd love to know how they fix these things. Like this? I tried. But you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. The past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Um. Again, I'm going to go with the cynical one, trying to screw up this relationship, you know what I'm saying? Sounds less like an apology and more like an excuse. It's not either, it's the truth. Bullshit. You had no idea that Kalis would even work. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then... I don't know, things seem confused, but now it just seems simpler. Let's go with restrained here. It's the past, Eric. We have to put it behind us and look towards the future. Otherwise, we're just going around in circles. Ah, damn. I'm happy to look to that future. No future for you, pussy. Okay. Right, so we need to look at that when we come back here, but I think we go back to Nick and Jason for a second to you. We have power. There was a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. <laughs> yep. So, um, this is another section where... 
you have to pick a hard decision to keep Mo in life. Shoot that bitch. Poor Marwin, man, just being carted around. We gotta go through it. Don't make it. The other way is safe. Yeah, let's go around here. This way. Succeed this. Easy. If you fail that, Morwin just gets yeeted. Again, gotta succeed this. getting dragged along, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not getting to make that decision just yet, then. Let's go. Let's go. So we've swept up all the collectibles in this area. We just need to go and mess with the tape recorder. Let's get to it. Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. Fine, I can fix that. So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. Detached. I stopped wearing it the day I left. I've moved on, Eric. I've forgotten what this ring means to me. But maybe you're right. Maybe it's too late. Alright. Someone else, little bitch. You need to let go, Eric. There's someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary. I'm sorry. Hello? Shit. 
it. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, back is Jason. Not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire. Just get one copy. Over. That's right, Trump. King, this is Mailman 2-1-Actual. Say again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2-1-Actual. How copy? Over. So I'm going to pick the heart decision here to keep him with us. Again, if you want to pick the head one, that's fine. The people you need to live will still live. Just Merwin will die no, here, but I need to keep him alive for an achievement. You die with me? Let's go, Merwin. Goddamn place. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. It's fine. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming. succeed these quick time events to keep Rachel alive and when you get to cut the rope you want to leave it for the first time and then cut it the second time that way they both live damn it Rachel will you hold still So we're not going to cut it this time. We'll wait. We'll wait. Takes a second, but... There we go. Have another quick time event heal. I think. Almost failed that. And now we want to cut it. No! <laughs> if you don't cut it, Eric ends up dying here, so... Doing this keeps everyone alive. We 
Which is exactly what we want, baby. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. <laughs> Bonds that were once thought unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. And there are always unexpected casualties with any separation. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but with the darkness in their past that will test the strength of their friendship. Which brings us to Salih. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. So I'm going to go with the head choice here? Nope. <laughs> Very well. At least you'll have no one but yourself to blame if things don't pan out quite as you intend. That's all for now. You're all for now. Corporal, right now, we stay tight. You heard the man. Colonel, is that you? What happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. He opened fire on us. Rich. She fell. Where, where, where? I, I held on. I held on as, as, as hard as I could, I swear. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Rachel! They're coming for us. They're coming. We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We need to fall back now. Over there. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. Be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oof. Oh, no, not Joy. The 
hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping at shadows. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Let's go with restraint. Understood, sir. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. You want to repeat that? That's what I thought. Keep an eye on Merwin. We'll go check it out. <laughs> Alright. So we need to repair the generator. Let's go. <clears throat> Something has been beating it up. Getting somewhere, we're getting to the juicy Delicious parts of the game. Dumb's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. He is not a happy man, like is he? Be in those shoes. There's all the right. generator. Let's get to that generator. Let's go take a look. Need a hand here? I'm on it. He's on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Ah, shit. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. alert. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. Keep it careful in there. Dropkick out. Cable split. Let's see where they lead to. Alright. So, you want to take the right heel. There's a sneaky little room of a collectible in it. What do you think? Make sure you don't miss this one. Easy one to miss. Yeah, I'll go with that. Gods of Samar. By Franklin Levitt, published by Napier and Brothers. So, like the other books, you have to flip the play, the page to get the collectible in this one. An eternity eating dust? You gotta be shitting me. Lamashtu is a terrifying she-demon, a murderer of infants who feasted on the blood and flesh of men. She is most commonly portrayed as a hairy, lion-headed monster with bird's feet, often shown kneeling on a donkey, a serpent held in each hand, and a dog and a pig suckling at her breasts. That's just a bit strange. Lamashtu had seven names and was referred to in incantations as the Seven Witches. She was responsible for many evil deeds, a bringer of nightmares, a poisoner of rivers, and a herald of famine and disease. Fig 4 belt buckle found in the tomb of an Akkadian priest. Fig 4 a belt buckle detail. Lamashtu was the daughter of the Akkadian sky god Anu, father of gods and demons, and the god of earthly kings. Anu was most often depicted in a horned headdress, while his Sumerian counterpart, An, was depicted as a great bull. In Mesopotamian religion, bulls were frequently seen as a sign of strength, a belief passed on to later Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures. For Greek philosophers, the bull's horn symbolized the horns of a dilemma, an impossible choice with no right answer. The gods of Sumer certainly presented no right answer for the Sumerians. They were at once kind and cruel, uh, grand and petty, fallible and supreme. 
Right, flip this for the collectible. Is he going to say something? No. The Sumerian Underworld. Pity the pauper who was buried with little. Their afterlife would be shabby and poor. Those who died unburied would have no life after death at all, but would simply cease to exist. So the doorway to Underworld was, was the grave. And the Mesopotamian peoples from Sumerians through to the Akkadians would be buried under their homes or nearby. The well-to-do would even build chapels or shrines to serve as burial plots. Once buried, the Sumerian soul would travel a road to the Sagras Mountains, Sagras Mountains, in the east where Utu the sun god rose each morning. Here was the entrance to the underworld, where Utu rested at night. A staircase led down from the entrance to a series of seven gates, the catacombs. The newly dead soul would meet the god Neti, the gatekeeper, who at each gate would unbolt it and relieve the soul of some of its burden of offerings until it arrived naked and powerless in the underworld. Temple built over gates to the underworld. At the threshold, the spirit appeared before Ereshkigal, the goddess who ruled the underworld, who pronounced them dead. The scribe Gashtinana would rec record their names. There were no rewards or punishments here, rather the dead lived according to the offerings they gave the gods. There were comfort for the wealthy and hard existence for the poor. Fig A, example of a typical votive statue. They often depict worshippers, not gods, and come in a variety of shapes. So I think that's it for this book, yep. Okay. Close it up. It's your collectible right there. Easy one to miss. Don't miss that one. Sneaky little room once you gain control in this area. And then we need to go back. And in the next room, there's a trip wire before you get into it. And if you miss the quick time event we're about to get, you don't get to get into this room. And there's a few collectibles in there. So make sure you don't mess up this quick time event. This way. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. There we go. I don't Wait, usually like to play games on controller. Simple enough. Count but I slogan. suck at quick time events on mouse yeah. and keyboard. Just need to cut the trigger. All right, so. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. All right. He's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. Okay, so in this room, there's a few collectibles. Once you gain control, I think you want to stay away from the box that's in this room. But here's one of them right here. Yeah, the box behind this table. There we go. Star map. And over to our left here somewhere, I think there's another one. Nick, get out of the way, dude. I can't see. I'm just looking for glints. Oh, no, here it is. It's on the floor right here, and I think... Is this one too? Yeah, there's a premonition here. So, yeah, three in this room. Just make sure you have a good look around before you leave, you know? So... That's showing the stake that you can take in a little bit. Uh, let's grab this page. I think these are the only three in this room. April 2nd, 1946, we have assembled our team. Top of my list was unintelligible. Crow, the bulldog of Omaha Beach. We found him in Cairo, brawling for money in a Levantine drinking club. Crow recommended unintelligible, and in Haifa, we picked up my assistant. The always inquisitive Aline Janu, unintelligible, insisted on the presence of her own advisor, Ellis Van Houten, an archaeologist I know only from unintelligible. Our team complete, we shall head to Lebanon, and from there, by train to unintelligible.
Okay. Right. So, I'm going to have another little look around this room. I know we have to go to that box to get out of here. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't. I think that's the only three, but let's just look around for extra shiny things, you know. Ah, we're all right. Okay. Waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. We're gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. Gold check. You guard Merwin. Sergeant K-9 will go ahead. Hmm. All right. Compliant it is. Right you are, Colonel. Sticking with them head choices for the most part. <laughs> He's just not having a good day. Alright. So, this isn't a collectible, but it opens up some dialogue stuff later. So yeah, there's no collectibles around here. We just need to interact with the stuff on the floor. I'm not sure if you walk away from this, what happens? But I know that each time you move something, it messes with Salim's traits. Salim. I was talking earlier about that achievement that's tied to letting Eric know. Oh, I just made that. Just made that. Let's kill this fuck first, and then I'll explain. I was talking earlier about the achievement that's tied to Eric figuring out the UV light messes 
the demons up or whatever. Maybe you have to miss that quick time event as Salim to make that happen. That could be possible. Because I'm guessing it's Salim that discovers it. If you get that quick time event, you know what I'm saying? Hello, Marika. God, I hate mashing X on this controller. I rarely play stuff on controller these days, man. But quick time event, I really suck at quick time events on mouse and keyboard. I don't know why. I can play games perfectly on mouse and keyboard, but as soon as it's quick time events, it's just a no go for me. Really, didn't you? <laughs> Good night. All right, so back to Salim then. Okay, let's get going. Get his trusty lighter out. So there's a collectible down this corridor. Um, you won't want to miss it, although I think it's a pretty obvious one. Let's keep going. Yeah, there it is. Kind of hard to miss that one. Just on the left side as you're walking down this area. Oh, Okay. Check your corners. Still here, Joey? Alright, so I don't think there's anything behind us here. Nope. Let's get going. No, I hear Joey. Gomez, this is dropkick. You're in me. Over. That's Joey's stuff. It's Joey's. You were with Lance Corporal Gomez, right? What actually happened to him? Hmm. Let's go with... Yeah, let's try and mess up. Let's go with disapproving. Keep it down, stupid. Keep it down, Colonel. Those things are out there. Hey, Marine up. This place has got you jumping in shadows. The only things out there are the Iraqis. Hmm. You keep thinking that. <laughs> you keep thinking that, Colonel. You'll find out soon enough. Do you take me for a fool? Yes. You've been ragging on me since I set foot in Camp Slayer. This is bullshit. You know, for someone who just lost his wife, you sure are acting like a major league asshole. Ooh. You say that again. All right, all right. He's off. He's off, man. I was out of line. You don't know anything about me and Rachel. No, oh, he knows a lot more about Rachel than you think there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, a fucking place. So this isn't a collectible, but we can look down here. How deep is that damn hole? Saw fissures like this back at the temple. Best guess is the quakes open them up. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. So... Is that blood? Yeah. Something really fucking nasty went down here. <laughs> I 
All right. So, um, we need to swing a left around here. Well, there's a couple of collectibles just to our right. Let's not miss those. Uh, October 23rd, 1946. The catacombs beneath the temple are heaped with unintelligible. Aline has worked sacrificial digs in El Castillo, but even she hasn't seen unintelligible. Unintelligible kill thousands in the name of their gods. Unintelligible in charnel pits. As though the slaughter unintelligible. What plague or cataclysm demanded such a price? So much unintelligible. Whatever happened here millennia ago is a unintelligible. 7th of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. Oh. So one of these notes, I'm going to have to mute because it's got picked up by DMCA on YouTube, which is really annoying. It's the most the annoying thing. Down there? All right, let's inspect this. surrendered all right that part's actually coming up soon we'll talk about that in a minute let's keep going here you can hear joey Sounds close. and we need to go over there to deal with him but first make sure you come over to the left and grab the med kit that you can find here cover me cover me Because we need this. Come on. Let's go. So now we want to go this way. This is a perfect place for an ambush. Let's keep it slow and tight. Joe, are you? Let's nice go with cautious. Yeah, some man right here. Good shots. Dropkick. Colonel, are you there? Over. No. And we're all on our own. Let's go. I turn the light off here. I can. I think you move a little bit quicker with the lights off. But oh well, let's keep going. Oh, shit, I'm stuck on this wall. There we go. So we have this section with Salim here, and I think the only way to keep everyone alive in this situation is to miss the quick time events we're about to do. And we intentionally have to mess them up. Otherwise, 
Salim ends up shooting someone. Over there, there is a demon. I could test it here. If you if you're doing all of the head choices, then uh, mi intentionally miss these quick time events that are about to come up. We can get through this, but only together. They react to sound like bats. They hear you. They hunt you. Seen their weakness. They burn in sunlight. Like any living being, they can be killed. Stake through the heart. Your bullets will only slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry. We do this together, okay? We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. Yeah, we'll do the rest. Um, let's go with supportive. So yeah, if you're doing the head decisions, let's do it. Intentionally mess up these quick time events. What I'm gonna do is succeed on them and then pick the heart decision after this. Because if you pick the head decision, then uh. I'm pretty sure Salim gets caught and he shoots someone. So yeah, mess these up. You'll get a heartbeat quick time event when you mess one of these quick time events up. Mess that up. And then everyone will run in and Salim will end up surrendering. But there's also an achievement tied to getting Salim to kill, I think it's like four or five demons with his rusty pole, which is like the best weapon in the game apparently. Um, and you'll only get that if you kill this demon right here, uh, Salim. Salim ends up killing this vampire demon thing with the pole if you succeed all of these quick time events. Again, you can just copy me if you want to, if you're just going for collectibles and save everyone. Entirely up to you, I just kind of want to advise whatever playthrough you're doing, you know? If I mess this up, I can always just load the save and do it the other way. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? Do you believe in demons? If you'd asked me that before, I'm, I'd have laughed in your face. But now... In the Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes. Where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. I can't even begin to comprehend that. Like you, I also never believed. But look around you. Look where we are. Look what we have seen. 
We are trapped in the Sumerian temple. All right. So let's go with casual heal. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. Elohi Army. Shukran, Yahuwah. This is drop to Mailman 3. Do you copy? Over. Solid copy, Colonel. I see your flashlight. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. Your friends, but they're not doing anything dumb. All right, so I'm going to go with get to cover. Find cover. Go. Go. My God. You were right. Yes, I was. What the hell is that thing? And then we're going to cover for Salim here. You all right? Yeah, all good, man. Yeah, all good. This was a bad idea from the jump. We should get back to the temple and reinforce it. Then we find a way out of here. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. So everybody survives. We all good. That's what I'm talking about. Is he taking the body of that thing? All right, back is Jason in the temple then. Are we still with Moen? Does everyone regroup now? Oh, he's shaking. Get it together. Thing looks like it might jump on you at any minute, mate. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. I wonder if Eric gets infected here. Don't think so, but I know. It's interesting. So where's Mo in it? Last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. I guess he's with Eric. Maybe. We should reset that chirp wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. All right, I'm gonna go with Foreboden. Yeah, don't go banking on anything. We're gonna have to work pretty hard just to stay alive. Me and you, though, we can handle that shit. What would I do without you? Serious. You hear me now. If you find yourself alone, you fight like they do. You hit them hard and fast before they even know you're there, and then you go back into the dark. That understood, Sergeant? Yeah. Understood. All right. 
something else. You think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Um, I'm gonna go with Curious. I'm sticking to those head choices for the most Why part. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. This is about the girl at the checkpoint? Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Hmm. Stun. Get your you shit together. All that? There ain't nothing that can be done about it. Not now, not ever. It's done with. I suggest you get your shit together, Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. No man, one actual. This is dropkick. Request update over. Two an actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. Over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard. Over. I hear you. Over now. Approximation: The creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, wing wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs into the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased, almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. The predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. Okay, so back as Nick and Jason. A few collectibles ahead of us in this next room. I think we might have a conversation before we get in there. Let's get going. Alright. So, I think there's like four or five collectibles in this room. Not sure if this counts as one. It's the closest I've been to hell. Yeah, focus on the top of this body for the collectible. Looks like he's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explorers. Yep. He had a really bad day. We got a premonition heal. Okay. And... There's some more collectibles on the other side of this room. I don't think there's any more on this side. Gotta go over here for these. Stay away from the other side of the room before you get these collectibles. Okay, so right here you get the stake. Fuck, she do to deserve that. Kill by stake through the heart. Okay. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Alright, let's go with Compliant. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Tuh. <laughs> and... Over here. We've got 
another one of the journal pages. Let's go. Unintelligible stank of death and was littered with unintelligible. Enough to be covered in flies. Crow thinks unintelligible down here after robbing them. I pity those hapless wanderers. The fear they must have felt unintelligible. This was not what he wanted to show us. Not an earthly unintelligible. When Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. One of these journals has like a copyrighted music in it that I've got mute, so one of these will end up getting muted in the video. Not sure if it's this one. <clears throat> Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. Okay. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no shit. Alright, so I think that's all the collectibles in this area. Um, it's kind of frustrating that you get those copyright claims. It kind of happened with Little Hope as well. Last collectible in this area. It's right here. This is the thing that More crap. one of want? the guys in the intro was wearing. Nothing that's going to get us out of here. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. <laughs> okay. Moving on then. So I think this is where we set the charges. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Hmm. So I go with wire up the middle here. You just got to make sure. Let's go for maximum coverage. Wire up the middle of the corridor. The little later you Let's tell. We got to make each one count. Tell people to run around the side. You kind of have a problem later where you can tell people to either run through the middle or run through the side, and you got to tell them to stick to the sides to keep everyone alive. Can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Okay, let's go with serious. Those demons down there will kill you. But the demons in here will eat you from the inside out. You gotta let it go, man. I'm serious. Ah, so that's you. All moved on. Yes, I have. I sure as hell have. Nah, I know you too good. When you lie, you always say things twice. First one to see how it floats. Second one to nail it down. Nikki, come on. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Acknowledged. 
Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Found a camera here. And let's head back. All right. There's Moen. Oh shit. haven't actually done the thing where you keep him alive so I don't know how that's going to play out but I know he, he does die no matter what I'm just interested to see how far he goes now right, back as Rachel Eric, no, he is stupid. You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick? Jason? There's a few collectibles down here. You need to watch out for the bubbles that are in the water though. Because that will get Rachel killed. And we don't want that. So. That can't be anything good. Yeah, look out for those bubbles. Just stay away from where you see the water sort of bubbling up there. We got a collectible here though. This is the ID card. It's on the left of this room, just as you spawn. Aid Sans Frontier Frontiers. Carte Dientete. Number 0217732. Nom Vinay Pranam Mary Sexe F. Uh, ne Le 2207979. God damn, my accent is terrible. Description to post. Uh, d d uh, yeah, that one. I guess that means Director of Operations. I can't read whatever language that is well, alright? Just. I'm not very cultured. So, yeah, staying away from the bubbles. Come over here to the right. And there's another collectible over here. Staying away from that guy. This is the ancient helmet. There we go. And let's keep moving forward. I'm pretty sure there's one more collectible in this area. And it's kind of like on the back of this sort of statue area or whatever this is. And the statue's over there, isn't it? But yeah, here it is. Just another secret. 13th of December. Unintelligible and I descended in the unintelligible. As we left, I was struck by the unintelligible temperament. She seemed eager, almost manic in the face of our new discovery. When we reached the bottom, Crow could not prevent himself unintelligible before us. Set in a dizzying vault, layer unintelligible, loathsome, colossal and sleeping. A great carcass built in unintelligible. Overcome with all I unintelligible. 28th of December. God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her, 
I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. Right. So, there's no more collectibles down here. We can't go over there, obviously, because of the bubbles. Um, but yeah, let's just move on. We're heading this way. There's one more collectible you have to get here, and that's after you pick up the torch. But it's a pretty obvious one. It's kind of hard to miss. Let's just get through this. The hell? Those are bats, Rachel. Let's keep going. God knows what's so flammable down here, but whatever. Okay. Moving on. So you kind of have to get through this area relatively quickly because one of the things is chasing you. But I think it only comes after you've grabbed this grabbed this next collectible. Let's keep moving this way. And what the hell is that light? You can see it in the distance over there. Let's quickly grab that. And then we'll be on our way. Saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the moor, the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of feel. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change to colours. We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms. Psilocybin. Right. So that's it for the collectibles down here. Just keep pushing forward. You'll hear this thing start to come after you shortly, I think. And uh, in a moment, get ready for some quick time events. Keep going. See if I can turn around and have a look at this. Yeah. See the bubbles in the back coming after us there? <clears throat> We're getting there, though. Right. 
creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored, oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Oh, is this going to give me that achievement I was talking about? Hey, it did. Nice. Cool check. Is that you? Oh, that's how you get that one done, then. This is actually a section I haven't seen before. Might only be a small one, though. Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> what the fuck, Joey? That is not Joey. Oh, come on, son. Wake up. Get stabbed, Joey. No, he's not having a good day. Oh, my God. See you, mate. All right. Back with Clarice and Rachel, then. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. So, again, spoilers, Clarice dies no matter what you do, but um, apparently if you've got Eric alive and you bring Clarice with you, she'll end up killing, killing Eric. So you want to leave her here. There is an achievement tied to bringing her along as far as you can, um, but from what I've heard, if you've still got Eric alive, she'll end up killing him. There's an, uh, apparently... You could fight? Yeah, me either. What was that thing? Hold up. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. Damn. Alright, let's go with the head choices. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Nah. I just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. 
It is. I think you can keep still. And yeah, let's go with restraint. Thanks, Clarice. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were gonna say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you wanna share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm gonna get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up. Ooh. So yeah, there's two achievements tied to Clarice. One for bringing her along, and one for having Eric alive, where you bring her along, apparently. I've got the one for bringing her along, but I don't have the Eric one. However, I've heard that she kills Eric. If you do bring her along. So I'm gonna leave her behind here. We don't want to get Eric killed. I don't want to even take that chance, so I'm just going to leave it here. Um, that's what I'll have to come back for, I guess, in another playthrough someday. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. She is not okay. A minute isn't going to kill us. Until it does. God, you, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's got to be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <sighs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? Let's go with commanding. I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is, you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not, not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? Playful. It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? Soft word? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> Easy Street? I had to graft to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. All right, sorry, mate. Yeah? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. You and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> <coughs> Depends on what you were doing, I guess. <laughs> What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! Reassuring? It's okay. I'm here. I promise that you'll stay with me. Stun. I can't promise anything. Listen to me. Something is happening to you. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. Yeah, Clarice. 
more climbing, dickhead. Give me your hand. We're on the wrong side of the chasm. We'll never make it. Don't quit on me now. We have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Yeah, it will. It's fine. Wait. Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Let's go with reassuring. Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it, it's your only hope. We can do this. All right. <sighs> Nailed it. <coughs> so if you miss that QTE, Clarice just straight up doesn't come. The rope kind of gets dislodged and she just doesn't swing over. But you also have the choice here and I'm going to abandon her ass. Because I'm not risking you killing Eric. See you later, Clarice. But, like I said, there are achievements tied to bringing her along. If you want to try for those, feel free. But I, th I think there's a... There's a big risk that she'll kill Eric later on, so... It's a shame because I do need that achievement, but... That's not what this video is about. I'm just doing my best to guide you guys through saving everyone and all collectibles. I know I sound like a broken record at this point saying that, but... There's so much stuff going on in this game and so many different things you can do. I like to talk about it a bit. Just so you guys have some more information on how to do certain things, you know. Hopefully I can get to that point where Nick has the, uh... No, sorry, uh... Eric has the choice about Nick. I'm not seeing anything come up, but I can hear him. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. Alright. Bunch of collectibles in this next area. Uh, one, The first one is directly behind you as you spawn here, which is one of the premonitions. Something we don't want to happen. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I'm guessing if you choose not to answer Nick's radio call, he'll die. So I won't be doing that. I just uh, want to get the option so I can just load up the save and do it. So here's the next collectible. It's literally to the right of the last collectible if you're facing it. I'm pretty sure there's like five or six collectibles in this area or something. An increasing number of finds reference the curse of Naram Sin. This sermon on the relationship between gods and kings states that all three period of Mesopotamia. Naram Sin is an Akkadian king, grandson of Sargon the Great, founder of the Akkadian Empire. The historical record shows him as a pious man who honored the gods. However, the man presented in the curse stories is very different. The mythic Naram Sin is a job-like figure abandoned by the deities. He rages against the gods, then wages war on them. This blasphemy is repaid with curses. Uh, the first of which is an invasion of Gutian mountain tribes. This war causes a famine that destroys Naramsin's people. The moral is that man must accept suffering, however mysterious and oh, however mysterious and unknowable the gods' intentions. Naramsin should have endured the trials, no matter how arduous. In picking a fight with the gods, Naramsin fought a battle he could not win. Right, we're going to turn the page to get the collectible. All their findings never saw the light of day. They just stay buried in the dust. Related finds. A29, clay tablet, undated Akkadian. Cuneiform on one side. This cuneiform is a holy chant to ward away evil spirits. A59, clay tablet showing arrangement of stars, undated Mes Mes Mesopotamian. The constellation looks like Cetus. Do these stars have significance to the temple priests? Uh, A143, fragment from a Hermit's cylinder seal, decorated with vertical columns of cuneiform surrounding an image of a large Gutian city. The Akkadians believed the Gutians were demons. This find suggests they were more civilized than previously reported. 
So I think that's it for this book. Let's put that one down. Lovely. I'm pretty sure um, we get interrupted here, yeah. But we get the rest of the collectibles, don't worry. My best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. Sucks to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. You fix it up, call in the cavalry, pinch it up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. If we get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to here. Which still means we have to find a way to reach him, of course. One problem at a time. Alright, so... In this area, you've got a radio over there. Stay away from that radio. Just don't go and interact with it, because that'll lock you out of this area. And we need to pick up a few more things before we continue. Got a collectible right here. Let's have a look at that. R73. So like I mentioned earlier, there's an achievement tied to having Marwin fix the radio, and he's not around at the moment. I kind of hope he shows up so that we can get that one. Alright. Um, FAO Van Houten, new finds for cataloging. Clay jars, Acadian times 4, bone pipe, dagger, ornamented, seated nude statue, star glyph, AJ. Notes for paper. Fucking <laughs> The specimen defies biology as we know it. How long have these entities lived beneath our feet? Do they awaken every few centuries to prey on us? The Acadians knew them, if only in ancestral memory. Pazuzu's form is clearly a depiction of them. I theorize that their attacks have informed the folklore of humanity itself. An Ur myth that permeates across cultures. The winged demon, the horned satyr, the minotaur, the vampire. Alright. Make sure you turn that one over to get the collectible. There's another one over here. Is that five in this area already? Right. Patient history, name, Mary, age, sex, 30th of December, 0200 hours, temp 100.5, sweating, 8 ounces, saline, 03, 0330, temperature 100.7 Fahrenheit, pulse 152, subject awake, not lucid, 1100 hours, temp 101F, subject sweating and jaundice, not lucid, antipyretics have had no effect, 1215, temp 101F, Pulse 165. Brief lucidity. Say she has had visions of darkness and that she can taste the color red. Slips into unconsciousness. One. Wake screams about monsters in the dark. Increasingly jaundiced and feverish. 1800 hours. Temp 100.9 Fahrenheit. Pulse still rapid. About 150. Sleeping. Note. Two days since exposure to the entity. Alright. Okay. So that's a bunch of collectibles on this side. I think there's a couple more on the other side. There's one, like, straight ahead of us here. And uh, there's one next to the radio, I think, as well. Just make sure you don't interact with the radio. Because that will lock you out of these collectibles. Just make sure you've got everything in this area before you approach that. All right, we've got another one of these pages. 29th of December. Pullman says the radio has been unintelligible. Wants us cut off from the outside world. A line fought in the unintelligible. She's responsible. Personally, I still harbor doubts unintelligible. Although, without proof, everyone remains a suspect. All I can do now is place sentries unintelligible. So, like I said, one of these videos is going to have to get muted for copyright reasons, but you still get the collectibles. 30th of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening... I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out, clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew. And I was, after a while, able to calm my wife. All right. So 
So let's head this way and get the final collectible in this area, which is just on the other side of the radio. Yeah, don't interact with that. I'll keep saying it. And we just need to go to this map and move this mug out of the way. Clever fuckers. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here was pretty special. All right. So, to the radio then. Gotta go around the side. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Come on, Nick. It's just a radio. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Where's Marwin then? Come on now. That thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? We gotta work with what we have. Fall back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. We ain't got time for that shit. They're coming. Fuck them. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't trust any of you pussies to do it. Ha. Huh. the fuck, Lazarus? Sit your ass down. Back from the dead, baby. <laughs> Corporal Merwin, probably best you stay here and recover. Oh, and let you have all the fun? Ah, oh, fuck that. Let me break this down to you Barney style. I'm the only one here who's a mechanic. Now that's what you call a no-fucking-brainer. He's got a point. So what happens there is dictated by what you chose in the beginning, whether you chose to go with Dar or stay behind for your son. Either way, you end up going with Dar, but... Come on, Marwin. Fix that radio. Give me my achievement, man. You wanna hurry the fuck up? We don't have much time. There I thought. I could take a Sunday morning stroll. You know, taking a view. Huh. Five and two minutes. Two minutes? You hoping to do it twice? 
Zero one for the lieutenant. Colonel, back inside the temple and man those cameras. You're a sick duck out here. Go! God damn it. You fixed it, though. One, two, Coyote, two. We are requesting evac. Over. Oh. If anyone's out there, if anyone can hear me, we're requesting immediate rescue. Over. Mailman two one. This is Rhino one five. Say again. Over. It's air support. We need immediate evac. We're trapped under the LZ and facing multiple unidentified hostiles. We need to get the fuck out of here. Over. Solid copy, Mailman two one. Roger. Wait out. <laughs> Shit. Alright, there's my achievement. Happy days. Quick time BS. Flank him. Working on it. Do it, Salim. Hello there, rabbit. Oh. How you missed that shot, Nick? Come on now. Just got dragged off, mate. Rachel?
You're alive? She's alive. Have any doubt, Marine? Where's Eric? Rach? I'm so sorry. Hmm. I'm gonna go with restrained here. You followed climbing protocol. You had no other choice but to cut the rope. We don't need to discuss it. We both would have died. You have to understand that. <clears throat> Are we good? We're good. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things. They got Joey. Clarice. What is it? Um, serious? Clarice was infected. Those things. I don't know how they got inside her. I couldn't take the risk. I had to leave her behind. You telling me Clarice is still out there? That's not Clarice anymore. I saw her changing before my eyes. I believe it. Same thing happened to Joey. Armed? Make sure every shot counts. All right, fall back to the main temple. name's not dead and you're not coming in mate so there's an achievement here tied to using the machine gun if you want to get it you're gonna have to pick the heart choice it's up to you if you want to get it i'm gonna not go for it it makes this section a little quicker but it also means that you've got to tell the other guys where the um where the mines are there's also a quick time event here with the generator, and I honestly don't know if you can even get it. Like, when Rachel goes to pull the generator cord, it breaks. And it's probably the quickest quick time event in the game, so I'm just gonna- I know it's X you've gotta press. So I'm just gonna mash it and see what happens. But I honestly don't think you can hit it. I just think it's an impossible quick time event makes it kind of pointless. Get ready to mash. It's coming soon. Damn it. I'm telling you, you can't do that. You gotta be messing with me. I think that quick time event is just doomed to fail, man. King, now it's about the time we bug out. Any objections? They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Oh, come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait. Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Count 
In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate. So, I'm gonna go and retreat here. So tell everyone to stick to the walls. Stick to the wall! Because we put the mines in the center. So I think here if you were to pick um, the center, there's an achievement tied to getting both of those killed there, uh, Rachel and Eric. Um, but obviously we want to keep them alive. You can always load your save, though. You drop your weapon. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Got the drop on you, bitch. Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Shut up! Shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. So, I'm gonna go with Resistant here. We need their help. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. I don't trust any one of you. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor! Shit! Move! All together now. Are 
this looks like the worst place in the goddamn world. I think he's got a snake on his pee, pee Did you see that? Here they come. There, Jason. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Who's there? Who's there? So during this section, you have a choice to make as Salim, and you'll have a demon jump in for you, and a demon jump in for Rachel. You want to make sure you shoot the one that's coming for you. Salim's trusty pole, man. I'm telling you. Best weapon in the damn game. It's Beardo McGee. He's been down here for like thousands of years, I bet his clothes stink. I'm gonna use the rifle. I feel like that would have slowed him down more, but whatever. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's like the third action, maybe the fourth. But if you choose to shoot the one that's going for Ra Rachel, Salim ends up getting injured. And that doesn't matter, but it just locks you out of an achievement later. So, let Rachel get bitten, you kind of need that to happen, and shoot the one that's coming for you. Because we need Rachel to get chomped on. She doesn't die, don't worry. If you don't do that, you get locked out of a collectible. Get back up. Oof. Run, Salim! You leave my Salim alone. Get ready for more quick time events. Yeah, back up. Get away from him. Don't worry about this guy. He's a dick. He's not one of the characters we gotta keep alive. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, like I mentioned before, we've only got to save Eric, Rachel, Salim, Nick, and Jason. Those five are the ones we've got to save. Well, the only ones you can save.
Teach you to mess with a marine. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Let's go with confront. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. Let's go with reassuring. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. And enthusiastic? Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. The sword and the shield. They're too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. Let's go. Distracted there. I don't think there's anything behind us. For one second, you're trying nope. to cross me. Best believe me. Follow me, second, you're dead. Wow, I rude vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? Yeah, all right. So, got some collectibles coming up shortly. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Go, go, go. Are you okay? Uh, what do you think? It's blocked. I gotta find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? Hmm. Let's go with foreboding. They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork makes the dream work, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so as soon as you spawn here, turn to your right. Real easy one to miss. Uh, you should get an achievement or trophy here. I think this is the last of the black pictures? Maybe? Or is that one of the white ones? Alright, comrades. Okay. And, I don't know, is there anything over here? Let me check. I don't think there is. Nah. Just to be thorough, you know what I'm saying? But there are more collectibles in this room ahead of us. So let's come in here. What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here? 
told my son. Stuff and things. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Alright. Let's get the stone tablet. Flip it over. And there's another collectible just over here, which is another one of the pages. I think this might be the one that gets muted, possibly. Unintelligible. Unintelligible. Dead. I sat with her in her final moments, telling her how sorry I was. Unintelligible. Hell forsaken place. For placing my vanity above our love. When unintelligible, the end of everything, I knew she unintelligible. Unintelligible, she made me swear to bury this place. Oh, I didn't turn it over. God damn it. You seem like you got your head screwed on. Quiet. So I gotta ask. 9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Oh, it's big man. Missed that little bit of conversation there, but Salim talks about how they had no choice but to enlist in the army. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for collectibles in this area. Let's move on this way. Your friend Nick. I like him. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, he'd put one between your eyes. Oof. Not very nice. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. Let's go with respectful. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. Mm. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. Uh-oh. Trying to count how many... of these things that Salim's killed with his pole. We need to make it five. Or something. Ugh. Miss me. Kind of look like Jason stabbed that thing in the butt right there. GG. 
I say we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So, that's where we just came from, right? I'm just looking around, just making sure. Yep. Let's go. The camera turns really slowly when you're in these tight type of corridors. Alright, so... Let's have a little look around. Pretty sure... There's no collectibles in here. I think we're good. But in this next area, there's a good few. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. He's doing it. So, stay away from that gate over there. Because that'll lock you out of the achievements we're Those about to get. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Chemical weapons. Alright, autopsy notes. Specimen contains an inordinate amount of blood in its stomach. Analysis of blood sample shows high density of adrenaline. Does the orgasm... Or, orgasm law. Organism feed on fear. Instills fear in its victim. Gets adrenaline pumping and then attacks. Okay. Uh, like I said, there's a good few collectibles in this room. Just don't go over to the... Uh, the gate. This guy had a bad day, didn't he? Or is that that Mary they were talking about? I don't know. So there's kind of a sneaky a joke? collectible. Nope. Nope. Over here, I think, in this box. It's to the right of the gate where you exit this room. Black Onyx. And there's another collectible in the middle of the room, and I'm pretty sure there's one in the pr one of the prison cells as well. There we go. Patient history, name Mary, age sex, 730, temperature and pulse, dangerously high, over 101 Fahrenheit, 170 BPM. Subject mostly unconscious, occasionally wakes and screams, sweat and sickness continues, saline supply low. Detected movement under the skin of the abdomen, around the location of the adrenal glands. R suggests explore, exploratory surgery, but I fear M might not survive the operation. 10 past 8, temperature 101.5 Fahrenheit, subject weakening, more movement under the skin, seen, parasitic organism, time of death 813. All right, so one more, and that's in this cell over here. Another one of these pages. The camp is in uproar. Workers are missing, and Lady Bradshaw unintelligible. But I can guess, she yearns for the same fate that unintelligible. She wants to be unintelligible. 1st of January, 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again sealing us in here we are hopelessly trapped with those things all around us they shriek from the darkness crow has set up his machine gun pointed towards the catacombs mary was right we cannot fight that which does not live there is only one option now bring the whole damn temple down on them even if it means bringing it down on our own heads they cannot be allowed out of here. Okay. So, I think that's all the collectibles in this area. A camera turn speed though, man. Come on now. All right. Let's dip. Wait, what's in that cell over there? Just out of curiosity. It's not one I, I don't think there's one I missed, but we'll have a little look. Why not? See if there's anything to look at. Nope. Alright. Move. Jason, come on, man. Out of the way. Alright, to the gate. It's cavernous. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? 
That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. Is her? Go with reflective. It's funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm only this bad guy to deal with. Your time will come. When you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. Are you crazy? Those vampires come from anywhere down there. You really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. Leave. How is that light still working? An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? None. Rachel found her way back to the lights. Well done. All a lie. Although don't get complacent, their lives still hang by a thread. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the Abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, 
sworn enemies, you cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line or to bury what remains of them under it. Kind of cool that you get to see this. I think you only see this if you've got Eric and Rachel are both alive at this point. Little hope. Smells fried. We're in hillbilly territory. What were we expecting? Cantaloupe caviar? Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me. I don't know. He was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often. Especially one who showered. <laughs> uh, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell's that mean? You don't believe him, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh, like my very own loyal puppy dog. Simplify. He means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking out for myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. Uh oh. That's how Eric lost his leg. Get wrecked. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Damn. Right. Eric. Malfunctioning. Who says that, man? Colonel, you gotta go. You too, Nick. You're coming. It's malfunctioning. Walker. Say it's broke. It's busted, broken. Shit.
lord, he coming. So get ready for some of those heartbeat quick time events. Oof. Ugh. Uh, we gotta help him. Yeah! Maybe it plays out a bit different. I don't know. Good save. There we go. Pull me up. That actually played out a little bit different. You might get um, a heartbeat quick time event in there Thank under you, your playthrough. Let's move out. As opposed to that. But yeah, succeed it, same thing happens. The guy just walks off. I'm gonna say he's still alive, though. Yep. <laughs> Let's hope I get that... Uh, I think this is the point where I get that conversation I've been talking about between Nick, Eric, and Rachel. Let's hope it happened. You think that thing's gone? Looked like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. Back there, oh. Thanks for looking out for me. All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. You can't keep playing this, man. Nick, listen. No, 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 you listen. If I get killed down here, I want to know I stood up like a real man, not some chump. Rachel, you... You said you'd tell him when the time was right. I need you to tell him now. Tell him the truth. You don't wear a ring because your marriage ended a year ago. No wonder you didn't have the courage to tell me. I was someone back at the base. I didn't realize you were sleeping with one of your own damn team. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special, but that was a long time ago. Right, so we want to go with the shocked choice here, I think. You're choosing him. Him? You're choosing him. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I want to start a new life. I can give you that. No, you can't. After we split, it took me a long time to find hope. Nick is hope. Hmm. So I think we want to get angry here. How can you do this, mate? How could you do this to me? You're my wife. We've been apart for a whole year. Things change. I've changed. I'm not the same woman you married. You cut that rope and let me fall. Is that your idea of being my rock? Damn. You would have died otherwise. Just saying. Maybe. Possibly, perhaps. Probably not. <laughs> no hard feelings. You stay out of my way. <laughs> Damn, man. I kind of don't want to save him now. So I think that's what we needed to happen. That's what I was it looking for. If we die down here. It means something to me. Let's find Kolchak. And then later on, I think Eric gets the radio signal from Nick. Maybe. We'll see. I have to save him anyway, but I can load up my save and quickly nail out that achievement if I want to. Just by selecting a earlier chapter, you know. A 
I just kind of want to know if I get it. Shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? I'll need to be a smart ass. Just move. Alright, so... Once we get control of Jason here, we want to turn around and grab the collectible that's on the desk. A little bit of light reading. Finds Ledger 3, Van Houten. Twenty ninth of November. Many finds in the temple confirm our hypothesis that the temple was used for sacrifice. We know that a century long drought afflicted the Akkadian Empire, the same dry spell that aff affected the old kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia and drew the Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains, bringing them into conflict with the Akkadians. In this temple, we see evidence of an increasingly desperate attempt to turn the tide by appeals to the gods. Related finds. R6, Black Onyx, Mesopotamian, or three period. Onyx stones were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity, perhaps due to the belief that the Udug demons inhabited the earth. R19, Hold Stone, Mesopotamian, or three period. The stone shows figures praying towards an eclipse. Combined with R6, the piece portrays an eclipse that prece uh, precedes a disaster. Right, flip the page for the collectible. R32, Ritual Tablet undated Akkadian. This clay tablet displays a scene of religious ritual. The bull headdress worn by the priest indicates a human sacrifice of acolytes, probably to read the future in their entrails. This suggests that the killings were beyond just Gutian captives. R73 Battle Tablet. K tablet depicting a battle scene. The headpieces of the Akkadian warriors suggest this was a battle between Akkadians and Gutians. Okay. Right. So... Now, we're going to head over here, and I think right here somewhere is another premonition. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Okay. That one shows Salim getting killed. There's a couple more collectibles down here. We need to interact with this cocoon to get one of them. And look up in order to get it. What is that? Cocoon? It looks like those things came from here. <laughs> Spence like from well died. So when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. Stay clear of it. All right. So, over here on the left is a body. This isn't a collectible. Something to look at. Okay. And this is a collectible right next to it. It's the pocket watch. Mary Hudson. Open it up. Scarby's wife. Their story didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. Okay. And just next to that is one of the journal pages. Let's pick that up. Have a little read. When this temple falls, my wife and I will be unintelligible. I owe her that, at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is the Mary that I remember, not that unintelligible. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. Oh dear. Alright, so one more of those to get. Let's back up. And around here somewhere, I think it... Is it back there? Is the journal. This isn't a collectible. 
but belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Doesn't have any of the pages. And that's him. Ah, shit. That's what we've been finding all the way along. All right, so there's one more collectible I think down here somewhere. Or is that it? I think it might be just those four. Yeah, it's just those four. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Got a long conversation here with Salim and Jason. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zayn is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. Tough fucking gay. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? I'm just going to go with the head choice here. It makes this conversation a little bit shorter, I think. This place. They're sure to come back here. I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What you have in mind? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Let's go with reassuring. Hey, whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way.
Okay. So, we want to head over to the left here to get a collectible. This has got to be where those things come from. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? Oh, they're about somewhere, mate. Let's get over here. We'll have a little cutscene here and then we can grab this collectible in a sec. Grab this. It's the musical artifact. Give it a wiggle. All right. Like music. I don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Okay, maybe not music. It would be uh, a language. All right. You've seen those motherfuckers. They're not exactly the chatty type. So we're going down here. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Things are intelligent. So, this isn't a collectible, but it's something to mess with. If you want to have a look at this, I'm going to. Slay. Check this out. Just because it's funny. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> Little pussy. Quick time event if you do this, by the way. Fuck, it was close. Thanks. So if you followed along with me here... See that? Of course I fucking saw it. <laughs> creature is fossilized. Hang on. It must be millions of years old. Yeah, um, if you follow it along with me, only one of the characters will be injured, and that should be Nick. Uh, and that'll get you an achievement, providing you've grabbed the med kit. You can get other people injured along the way, and I think we've avoided doing that. And Nick just heals himself, and that just means it makes the ending a little bit easier for you. Okay, moving on then. Hmm. So, next collectible isn't far. It's when we get up onto that 
circular platform we're going to get to shortly. Alright, round here. Just heading this way. There's a collectible, collectible coming up that's kind of difficult to get. Um, I'll explain it when I get to it. It's not far away. Go. So we'll stick to the right heel, and the collectible is over by that statue I'm looking at. Let's move towards it. Really, not a huge amount of the game left now. We're getting somewhere. Let's go ahead and grab this collectible. I think it's like a skull. Looks like someone's been aborting the dentist. No fangs. Can you see? The bone is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe they got infected. Okay. So in this section, you want to avoid standing on the vines on the floor. If you mess up and you end up doing that, there's a collectible that you'll miss, so... Just follow the path I do. What is it? I think we hit the mother load. So, avoid the green glowy bits and also those vine type things you can see right there. Don't stand on those. And you'll get your collectible. Let's head over here to the left. Steer well clear. Can squeeze in between these just here. I think you can stand on one and it won't set them off. But if you stand on two sets of the vines, you're in trouble, boy. So you can see like, kind of like these green, I mean, it's glitching on the floor here. I think that's got something to do with DirectX 12, but yeah, you can stand on those. Just don't stand on the thick vines and you'll be fine. Just make sure you're using the light to look around. Which way are we going here? Just making sure I'm not messing up. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. And we're heading over there. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so when you spawn up here, if you just pretty much walk straight forward the collectible... Is this pile of bones just here. And you need to look to the right. To get it. <laughs> Check this out. They died fighting. Oh. Kind of skipped the dialogue there, but never mind. It's weird. Some of the collectibles you can sort of back out of and the dialogue continues and some of them it doesn't, but... Whatever it is, what it is. So that one is a difficult collectible to get. Oh, 
right here, mate. Damn, my audio is loud. Hey, fuck I got something for you. Good shots. All alive, baby. Shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. Good lad, good lad. Oh, Not my time. Girl, you made it. Yeah, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. Good to see you again, man. Take my hand. Okay. So I mentioned before Thank about you, being able to, uh... No, oh, wait, hold up. I'll have time to explain. Let's let this happen. There's probably some more dialogue coming too. Bunch of collectibles in this room. I think there's only, like, one more after this room. And you should get your achievement for getting them all. What is this place? The last one is probably the hardest one to get. We need a plan. Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. <laughs> Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um, eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. And one block of composition C4. Well, what about the UV lamp? Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. All in is not enough. We've also got this. It's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Our fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. Looks like a bitch. I gotta stop the bleed. Looks so like our explorer friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. No, wait. <laughs> Wait for it. There. Got it. <sighs> okay. So like I mentioned before, uh, several times, I know, if you only pick the head choices throughout the run, the only time you'll need to pick a hard choice to keep everyone alive is here with Rachel. So if you end, if you have chosen all the head choices up until this point, um, you'll need to choose a hard one to keep Rachel alive, but you can just go into the chapter, select from your save, load up from here, and then choose the head choices, finish the game and get that achievement if you want to. It depends on what you've done up until this point, but that's up to you. So here's our first collectible in this area. 
As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures, my mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. Did they soar through the skies in the days of dinosaurs? Did their great empire span the globe while we were still swinging from the trees? They are dead now. Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as we know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars, Cetus, as seen from Earth. Did they come here from beyond, crossing great gulfs of space to land here? Were they trying to get home? Okay. I'll point out the choice where you need to make those decisions I'm talking about. So this is the last premonition of the game. This is an easter egg for the next game. Which is kind of cool. There was also one of those in Little Hope for this game. I'm not sure if Man and Madan had one. It probably did. I don't remember. I found something. Don't talk to Salim here. Don't talk to Salim. Just get the collectibles first. There's also other people in the room you can talk to if you want to. That's up to you though. So that's collectible number three in this room. Hunts victim, implants parasite, parasite gestates, hosts death, parasite takes over. Okay. All right, and this should be the final journal page for Randolph right here. They are coming. We must end it here with unintelligible. If there is time, my last act will be to dictate this diary unto unintelligible. Found it in the rubble. It can serve as a warning to any who unintelligible. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. All right. For some reason, this black screen lingers for a while. It does back out of it eventually, but I guess it's just like a longer recording than the others. But just wait. It'll take you back to the game. All right. <clears throat> None of them made it out alive. So that's four in this room now. And the last one is just over here. And after this, you should only have one more to get. Let's have a little look. FAO, Pullman, new equipment request. Pickaxes times 12, rope minimum 1,000 feet, plywood box times 29, it's external. 1,200 liters times 790 watts by 510. I'm not sure what the H is. Or maybe that's, oh yeah, length, width, and height, right? I'm guessing that is millimeters. Arc lamps times 20, plus generator, crowbars times 4, gas mass times 6, EVH. And, uh... What was in it for him? Is it really all about these tablets? To whoever finds this, forgive me. I have sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing this temple to the world. Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are a key to limitless power. There are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach across the stars, perhaps even achieve immortality itself. Please safeguard this ruin, and do not think badly for me for what I have done. I only serve the future. Ellis Van Houten. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll quickly chat with everyone. Why not? Might as well include that little bit of dialogue that we're going to get here. Let's go talk to Eric. Here, let me help you. It's fine. I've done it before. I've done it many times since. Damn, I'm going to go with defensive. Fix your own damn leg, pussy. Deal me, won't it? Puck, what, what am I saying? What is wrong with me? Rachel, are you okay? Rachel. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fix it yourself. Oof. Alright, so just make sure you talk to Salim last, because that's how you progress here. If you I'm want to talk to everyone. They'll work. They'll work. This thing with you, me, and... Uh... Forget it, Nick. I'm just saying... Don't. Keep your head clear of everything but the task ahead. It's the only way we'll live. Could do with a bit of a wash, couldn't you, Rachel? You're looking a bit trampy, mate. All right, let's quickly talk to Jason then, and then Salim. But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. <laughs> daylight and a cold one. That whole mess with you and Nick. 
It's out in the open, right? It's for the best. But regardless of everything else, secrets keep you sick. Oh. All right. So now let's go and talk to Selim. Get this on with. She is not okay. There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Alright. So, right here, you just need to go to the opposite point that Salim's in, so right first and then left and then down and then up These creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Uh oh. Rachel? Rachel! Rachel. Rachel, look at me. She has it. Space Todd. from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something! She's turning into one of them! 
All right. So... Please, Rachel, you have to hold on. It's killing me. Oh, no. Not the Rachel skank. Hold her the fuck down. We can still save her. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her. There's no other way. All right, lover boy, chill out. So, here we have to go with the desperate option. Jason. Don't do it. And then... I have to put you down. This is where we have to choose the heart option to keep Rachel alive. It's me, Jason. Please, put down the gun. And like I said before, you can play up to this point and keep everyone alive by picking the head choices. Because we gotta have hope. Wait, wait, may I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking about? The fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. How could you possibly know that? I saw it. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, we could stop this. Are you for real? That's crazy. We don't know anything about it. It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. All right, let's go with Desperate Heal. Just do it. Anything to stop this. Alright. So, we have to do this to get one of the collectibles. This is why we didn't save Rachel as Salim earlier when the monsters were jumping out. That way she gets infected and nobody dies. There's no more time. Maybe we can burn the infection out of her. I'll do it, she's dying. Ew. That's a big loogie there, boy. Who <coughs> was inside me? I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. All right. So here we just have to look at these holes. Eventually, we'll get jumped by the parasite, and then you'll have a quick time event. And once you kill it, you'll get your last collectible. Good times. <clears throat> it's through, uh, I think four of these holes? Maybe five? Just inspect them and back out. Eventually you'll get jumped. Okay, one here as well. Here we go, I think this is the one I can hear it. I'm pretty sure it changes each time. Stomp. Tried to get in her mouth, man. Burn it. Alright, so pick this up, give it a wiggle. And that's your last collectible. Listen to the noise it makes when you shake it. Ugh. That's what a good buzzy sounds like. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so everyone's alive. Let's go. Everyone that matters, anyway. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The 
Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. Gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick! Hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Don't go getting trigger happy on me. Get her, dude. Step in the way. You keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up. You hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. <clears throat> Everybody. Oh, Eric didn't give him the thing. He's not happy. Okay, so we need to mark out this thing ahead of him. There, there's one ahead of him. To his left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. So because we use the med kit on ourselves, we don't have to do one of the QTEs here. First dynamite is down. Over. Because Nick isn't bleeding. Good times. Which way? Left or right? right. Move. Move. Oh, he's back. So, if you choose retreat here, obviously that's the head choice. It'll make this area a little bit easier, but you'll have to deal with an extra enemy in the finale. I'm gonna go with advance. I'm going for it. Um, but the choices we've made up until this point will keep Nick alive. Because he does get jumped by the bearded douchebag. This is way too easy. And that's the guy that will jump you in the finale if you choose to retreat. It's also a hard choice, so I know we've talked about head and heart choices. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Nah, he's not. He talk about. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? You know he won't make it. Let him finish his work.
You won't even feel it when it comes. It's clear, Nick. You're all clear. Here's that tell again. They're onto me, aren't they? All right, relax. <clears throat> so, we're going to have some heartbeat quick time events here. We need to get these right. Let's not mess this up. Three of these to do. The green backlight here makes it kind of annoying to do this. One more. Hold that nerve. survive that. Nick! Answer me, damn it! Come on, buddy, let me hear your voice. I'm sorry. Hey, I got that choice. Let's go. He's alive. So. Oh, no, it didn't even give it me. God damn, all that for nothing, man. I'm 200 meters from the door. Bearing 320. But I'm. I'm injured. I, I need help. Guess I'll have to look into that some more then. Nick survives. Everyone's coming. Face.
Nah, none of that for you. Time to die. Let's go. Damn it. I really wanted that achievement. So there's also an achievement linked to killing a bunch of the vampire things with Salim's pole. And right here as Jason, you can either go and save him, the fuck is Salim? or go and help him, or stay away. Charges were a godsend. Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? Dead man. We need to go. That man is not one of us. So, either option that you pick, heal, you still have a chance to save Salim. If you choose forceful, then you go to help him. If you choose cautious, you wait for him at the elevator. You've just got to make sure that you, hear me, Salim? you choose to wait at the elevator. Get out alive. We'll see you on the other side. I'm just not sure if you uh, go and wait for him at the elevator. If he kills like an extra one of these guys. You know what I mean? So let's see what happens. So, if Whatever you've chosen... You think, I got a feeling I ain't gonna like it. So yeah, you have to wait heal to save Salim. If we'll you've done wait. the same as me. And then as Salim, we need to nail all the quick time events to get to them. Stop. Stab again. Hey, I got that achievement, sweet. Slayer. Nice. Fucking you. He's alive. Now let those motherfuckers up. All together, baby. <laughs> Fucking knew you'd make it. My son is waiting for me. No evil is going to stop me from seeing him again. Listen up, I'm not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home. Hoorah! Hoorah? 
Go together. All right, let's get rid of this bitch. Kick to the face. Another kick to the face. One final judo kick to the face. Back up, Clarice. Damn it. Shit, I never should have let her go. You never should have brought her here. We made it. Soak up those rays, guys. Soak it all up. Soak it all up. You still with me, buddy? <sighs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. It's Rhino 15. Solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. Damn right, you're five minutes away. We got back up again. We beat the enemy. I actually forgot how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Ah, oh, you thought it was over. One final kick in the pants. No, not again.
those wooden tables look like they're really going to help. How long until the damn eclipse passes? Six minutes, Max. We just need to hold out. This is way too long. I can't rush the damn moon. They're breaking inside. Smash that button! So we gotta nail all the quick time events here to save everyone, and then we're done. ideas. Do this thing. I think everyone gets two that you've got to do. <laughs> now I think there's like a final couple as Rachel or something. Jason casually burning his face with a flare. The elbow drop. I think that's it. <laughs> oh shit, I've never seen this ending. In the ending where the eclipse saves everyone, but. It's the assault 
No, the chopper's coming in. That's pretty cool. We made it, yeah! And like I mentioned earlier, if you uh, chose to bring in the helicopters or whatever, Salim comes with you here. Whereas if you choose not to, Salim gets to walk away and he doesn't come with everyone else. We have to speak to the curator, cur curator one last time. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. Bravo! It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece. Although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time. Somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. Yeah. You know the way out. There's the Washington Monument in the background. Guess that's got something to do with the next game. Um, also, if you've saved everyone, if you just load up the last chapter, you can kill everyone in the finale for an achievement and keep everyone alive but one person by just failing quick time events to get an achievement. You're late and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram you in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISG units survived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool Jack Jason, First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, CETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds, I don't give a damn who it was! We needed all the help we could get! I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Goldjack to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son! That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. 
I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. Damn. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all's sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. And I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Kayla. Well? Do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. Are you still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. Yeah, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. All right. Copyright. Skip this. We'll have a little trailer for the next game here. Maybe I'll play that just you so you guys can know see it. If you want to know to be a killer, think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Can't wait for that. It looks great. But anyway, that's about it from me. That's, uh... House of Ashes. All collectibles, save everyone. Pretty good guide there. Happy with that. Didn't really do the couple of the achievements I wanted to. I know I was messing around with some of the choices. It probably got a little bit annoying listening to me about that, but... Yeah, I did what I came here to do, I guess. Nailed a couple of the achievements I hadn't got yet. Hopefully this guide's helped you out. Let me know in the comment section if it has. Um, also, if you're looking for some other videos for this game, or Little Hope, Man of Medan, Until Dawn, I'll post the links for the guides I have for that game in the description somewhere. They'll probably be around on screen shortly as well. If you want to help me out, Likes and comments are always welcome. Subscribe if you're new here, that helps me out a lot too. If you want to see me do stuff like this live and just play games in general, come on over to my live stream channel at twitch.tv slash iframes. It'll put some hair on your chest and some inches on your penis. Uh, if you want to follow me anywhere else, like Facebook or Instagram or any of that stuff, I'll have links for that in the description. Also, my Discord server is down there if you want to come and talk with my community or know when I go live and get notifications of stuff when it comes to the channel or, like I said, when my live stream 
turns on, all the notifications are over there. Thank you all very much for watching the video. Have yourself a fantastic day, and until next time, take it easy.